Welcome to Horse Bookends for another Gaming Friday. Today we're going to take a look at Age of Innovations by uh, Helga Ostertag. Now, me and Mike already did an intro to this video, so I'm just going to let that play now. Today we're taking a look at Age of Innovation uh, by Helga Ostertag, uh, put out by Fjord. Fjord. Foyer. Fjordland? Fjordland. Games. Uh, this is a Terra Mystica game. It is in the Terra Mystica family along with, uh, well, of course, Terra Mystica and Terra Nova and Guy Project. I am a huge fan of Terra Mystica. I play it all the time. I never win, but I enjoy it a lot. So, uh, Mike's played very, uh... Limited. Limited. I've played online. I have it on my tablet. I've played Gaia Project, but I have not played Gaia Project in years because I traded it for a copy of Apex Theropod because I love deck builders. No, I, I would see that. I would say it would be a poor trade, but and I know Ian's played it uh, a few times. But this game, Terra Mystica, makes me happy in my pants. It's one of my absolute favorite games of all time. And I, I'm so just happy to actually uh, teach it. So we're gonna take a quick look at the board setup and Ian's gonna be here and we're gonna get playing the game. Uh, the game should last, I'm gonna say an hour, I'm gonna call it an hour and 45 minutes uh, because we're all kind of seasoned. I'm gonna say 2.15. 2.15, all right. And then we'll get Ian's thought when he gets here. Uh, but I'm, uh, I'm going to say we're going to do it under two minutes. Two, uh, two hours. <laughs> two minutes. So I'm going to say it's going to be under two hours just because uh, I, I think... I'm going to forget a bunch of stuff because I haven't played in a while. Uh, I definitely will have a little bit of AP. Although, looking at the board, a lot of my playthroughs are kind of coming back. Mm -hmm. So... and. I do like the addition of a lot of the new elements to it, so I think there might be some extra interesting plays that will help me not suck so bad at this one. I think it's going to be great. The thing is, because I've played the game so many times, it's I can teach it without really looking at the rule book. but I call everything my own names instead of what the act the actual yes. names of things are so it might be a little confusing if you hear me say some weird stuff you're like i don't know if there was any of that in the game trust me there were they're probably just called something else so uh let's take a look at the board and we'll get started all right so here is the game board for age of innovation we are actually playing on the bigger board that goes three to five uh just because mike hasn't played very often ian hasn't played very often and i don't want a very congested board even though you do get bonuses for placing adjacent to opponents, uh, we really kind of want to experience the game. This, now that I think about it, this might push us over the two hour limit because we're going to be spaced out, but I still think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, over here, I'm sorry about the shadow from the camera, but we have the science track and we do have the, uh, the other track with the innovation tiles and the competency tiles, which you get for building a, uh, uh, a school. And down below, not uh, set up yet, we have the lands and the uh, factions set up for a random selection. We were going to do a draw, which you can do. They tell you about it in the instructions. But in uh, just to be a little more fair, we're going to completely randomize who gets what. And we're going to get started. All right, so me, Mike, and Ian did get a chance to play Age of Innovation, but for some reason the camera wasn't rolling, uh, and we also did not film an outro and give our final thoughts, so I'm just going to give you mine right now. In Age of Innovation, the object is to build up your community to score victory points over the six rounds of the game, and every time you play the game, you will have different objectives for those six rounds. At the end of six rounds, whoever has the most victory points wins. I do prefer Age of Innovation over Terra Mystica. And for some reason, I just can't explain why. I think everything is a little more streamlined. Uh, it, the game just is a lot more fun, and especially the way it plays. I do like the complete randomness of the, uh, the setup with what you have based on your land type 
and uh, your the people. I think it's very cool how um, it's completely random, but there is a draft variant, which is nice too. Uh, they explain that in the instruction booklets. Do you need both games? I don't think so. Uh, I am actually getting rid of my copy of Terra Mystica just because I prefer this a lot more. I think it's... I find it's easier to play, but it kind of plays the same, so I'm not sure where uh, where a lot of the differences lie, but there are plenty of discussion about it on BGG, so feel free to check it out. But for me, uh, Age of Innovation is, uh, this is staying in my collection, and Terra Mystica is getting the boot uh, for now, and Gaia Project is kind of on the fence. Uh, one thing I do like about Gaia Project is the modular boards, but uh, I think this is going to be uh, the one Terra Mystica style game that I play most of the time. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to click on subscribe and the notification bell. You'll get notified anytime I upload a new video. Questions or comments, feel free to post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Otherwise, talk to you later.